Did you get that? Did you get that? Oh. You bet you don't smell it. Oh, God, that reeks. All right, I'm back. And I am excited for today because I really want to hit that vein. Got a brand new pickaxe and pro pick. And let's make our way over there. Oh, you're going to join me? You're going to join me for a little swim? You too, Spider? Oh, you're all ready to go. How about you, Creeper? Oh, <laughs> there's already one in there. Oh, boy. Where am I going here? I think I'm going this way. Thank you, skeleton, for blasting me up onto the shelf. Oh, that looks cool as hell. Gotta be honest. Ah, oh, go away. Bucket me. No, you can't come in here. You know what? I don't... I don't like you. So I'm going to take the time to kill you. Where's my staircase now? Oh, uh, where the heck did I come from? Don't tell me. I... Did I do that? Did I do something stupid here? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that was pretty stupid, but oh well. I don't even want to listen to this thing, so he has to go before we even get started. Oh, he's just taking him like a champ. Come on. Right in between the eyes. Thank you. All right, here we are, finally. Where did I get that hit? It was right over here. Large sample, medium sample. All right. Now this is what, this is what I'm gonna do. I have my own method of mining, a method that I figured out it may not be the most efficient method. Well, it is efficient, but it may not be the quickest method. There are a couple ways I've been reading up on the forums, a couple techniques that people got, but I like my technique. It it really zeroes in on EOR. And it, it really there's no room for error. The only thing that can skew um, the readings with my technique is multiple ores like this right here. We st we'll still find it. It just may take a little bit longer. Now, to explain my technique, first you have to know how the pro pick works. Um, I don't know if everybody knows exactly how it works, but basically I'll, I'll do a quick overview. So when you hit a block like that, the pick is scanning a 25 by 25 by 25 cube from from the center. I'm standing in the center of that cube. So when I get a hit like that, that means that ore, that tetra tetrahedrite, is inside that cube with me somewhere. Now I have to find out where it is. It can be above me, it can be below me, it can be forward, backward, it could be left, it could be right. That's the tricky part. 
So basically, the way I do it is I attack it <clears throat> um, each individual axis one at a time. So I'll narrow it down where it is on the x-axis, then I'll narrow it down on the y-axis, then I'll narrow it down on the z-axis. And what that's going to do is leave me with a much smaller box that will have the ore inside it. And it's always different. It always depends on the size of the, ore, the vein and the shape of the vein. You could end up with a uh, box that is, I've had a um, 3 by by 2 by 9, which was very small. It was very easy to find ore. I've had some that ended up like a 9 by uh, 3 by 12, which is a little bit bigger, but it's still extremely easy to find a vein because it it's spread out in the, in the whole dimensions of that box, and you'll come across it easy. So, you get started with my method. The first thing we want to do is we want to be where we can have, um, well I want to go in a little bit basically because I want to have three-dimensional access. I don't like this not, there's no wall over here so that would kind of mess me up so I want to go like three or four blocks in and uh, I still might get messed up going that way because this ravine cuts this whole wall. This would be my x-axis. So let's go in about five blocks and see what our reading is from there. All right, and I picked up a little chipped tourmaline while I was uh, digging just these five blocks. Now the gems, as I understand it, right now are worthless, just like the minerals. Um, it'd be pretty cool if they implement something with them also because, again, it'd be cool to hunt for them and... Uh, and mine them out. Uh, I would enjoy that. But so here we are, about five blocks in, and we got a medium sample of uh, copper. Oh, another thing. I uh, see that's really going to screw us up with this olivine too. Olivine. Another thing with the pro pick is it always gives you false negatives. So see right here, it says nothing of interest when clearly we have four veins in the area. So you always have to hit a couple times to really figure out where um, if there's something in the area. So what we're gonna do because there's four veins around here I'm gonna go after both the tetrahedrite and the copper at the same time. It's gonna be a little bit it may th make things a little bit more difficult but I'm going to try and narrow both of them down at the same time. So the first thing we'll do, I want to, I'm want i going to go in another block, let's say, because I really don't want to um, go break outside into the, uh, the ravine when I'm going right over here. So the first thing we do is pick a forward wall. Now just for con to cut down on confusion later on, you always want this to be, when you pick a forward wall, always make sure you keep that as your forward wall. And the first thing we do is narrow it down on the x-axis. So, let me just mark that right there as our center. So basically what you do, well we know, we know the, uh, the copper and the tetrahedrates in the area. So basically what you do is just mine in one direction until you don't get a hit anymore of that that vein. All right, so this is what happened. Um, I ended up coming all the way out into the ravine like I didn't want to. So I built a little bit a little wall here, and um, instead of just stacking tons of stone that I didn't have, I just stepped in a few blocks. Now that's not ideal. You don't want to do that. You want to stay on the x-axis but in this case the um, vein was dying anyway so I just wanted to be sure. Now the last hit I got was about right there. There's traces of native copper. Now I'm running into nothing of interest and lignite. 
Now my rule of thumb is when you get six no hits in a row, you can be sure that you're out of the vein's um, reach. So there's no more copper, no more tetrahedrite this way. The last of either of them was right here. Now from this point on, what I'm going to do is just count 12 blocks that way. So one, two, three, four, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right there. And now we could block this off. Now that's blocked off. We don't need to worry about anything back that way. Now we're just going to do the same thing in this direction. We're going to mine until we're not getting a hit anymore on either the copper or the tetrahedrite. Oh, there's a spider around here somewhere and he's just aggravating me. I hate listening to that sound. I just gotta deal with it for now. All right, that's how far we went. Now check this out. Look at what's going on over here. Hematite, cinnabar, olivine, and tetrahedrite. There is a ton of ore around here. We could use the hematite. Not right now, but soon enough. But um, anyway, yeah, that's going to excuse our readings a little bit, but we'll, we'll still find it. So I marked this. This was the last hit I got, tetrahedrite. This was the last hit of copper I got. Now, remember, we're encompassing both these veins in our search. That's why this is really big. It's not really big, but it's bigger than usual. So at the last hit, what you do is just count back inward 12 blocks. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, block that off. There. We don't have to worry about anything over there anymore. So this is it. This is our x-axis. Our two veins, as far as the x-axis is concerned, are within these two walls. Now, it, it, it does look like a lot. It does look big, but it's not. And remember that there are two veins that we're chasing. So let me just see how many blocks this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. So it's 21 blocks. That's pretty big. But we're still going to do this. Um, so basically, if you understand what I did there, then you already know what I'm going to do in the future. I'm just going to do the same thing on the y-axis and then on the z-axis. I'm just going to pick the middle of these blocks. Then I'm going to dig up until I don't get a hit anymore and come down 12 blocks. Mark that spot then dig down until I don't get a hit anymore, then come back up 12 blocks and mark that spot. And in between those two markings will be our x -axis, our y-axis. So let's do that now. I forgot how many blocks there are. I have to find the center again. It's 21 blocks, so 10 will be our middle. Now, you want to note, before we start digging up and down, you want to note how many blocks are to your right and how many blocks are to your left. This is the tenth block, right, I believe? So, yep, yeah, this is the tenth block. So there's nine blocks that way, there's eleven blocks that way. Nine to my right, ten to my left. This is my forward wall. We, we always want to remember that. Now, I, you want to remember that because we may not be coming back to this this level. Once we figure out our y-axis, we could end up a couple blocks up or a couple blocks down. But you always want to remember where you made those two markings. So it's nine blocks to my right, 
11 blocks to my left. There's another hit of copper right there. Oh. Look what I got, guys. Look what happened. What is that? That's the tetrahedrite. You see? Most of the time, you're even going to find the ore. Oh, there's another cavity. Most of the time, you'll find the ore before you even complete the whole method. But. Let me look at this real quick. What's going on out here? Is this where those spiders are? I want that's the copper right there. Yep. See? Found it already. What's that? More tetrahedrite. Well, uh, there it is. Is this it all back here too? Yep. Nice. Hmm. I was hoping it would be bigger than that. Hopefully it extends down into the rock a lot more. But we'll have to mine it out to find out. Um, I kind of didn't want to run into it so quick because I wanted to show you exactly how my method works. But, um, see I was just um, digging upward here. Just stacking dirt as I go. And, uh, I, we ran into it, but I'm not going to continue digging where you found it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more opportunity to find uh, ore in this uh, this series. But, I mean, that's basically it. You just do the same thing on all three axes. You dig in one direction until you're not getting a hit anymore. Mark that area and um, count back 12 blocks. And that's your final marking. Then just go in the other direction, come back 12 blocks when you're not getting hit anymore. And your vein is in between those two markings. Do that on the x-axis, do that on the y-axis, do that on the z-axis. And you'll be left with a box, an area that your vein is going to be inside. A very small box that you can find it easy. And most of the time, just like this, you're going to run into it before you even complete all those steps. So... I'm going to mine this out, and um, let's see how much we get out of all this. Alright, so I mined everything out that was showing, and it really wasn't much. Only four blocks of copper. Two and a half stacks of tetrahedrite. Uh, there's... Yeah. There's definitely more here. Well, there's a there's a block right there, but there's definitely more here. So what I'm gonna yeah, more copper also. What I'm gonna do is continue with my method, uh, my tactic here. I'm gonna keep going up, and just because we found some ore and mined it out, it shouldn't change our readings too much. Our our Marking should still be good that we already made on the x-axis. So I'm just going to continue with the um. I'm I'm just going to continue until uh. I finish all my markings and then we'll see what happens. We'll see if we run into any more ore on the way or or what. Nothing, 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 nothing. Well, lignite, but we're not looking for that. Traces of tetrahedrite. My last hit of copper was a few blocks down, so I wanted to find the end of the tetrahedrite. So about five, when you get about five or six blocks of nothing, it's safe to say you've reached the end of the uh, the vein, as far as where the pro pick is picking it up. So this is our primary marking. What we're gonna do is put a torch down right there, and from this block down, we're gonna count twelve. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now that's our first marking on the y-axis. So everything up there we don't have to worry about anymore. Now from this block down, we're going to keep digging until we're not getting a hit on the copper or the tetrahedrite. We're just going to do the same thing going downward. Alright. So we found our last hit was right there. Here's six blocks in a row. That's nothing of interest. So it's safe to say we're out of range of the vein. So now from our last hit, and that was the last hit of tetrahedrite. The last hit of copper was about right there. Yeah. Traces. You know you know you're at the end edge of the vein when it says traces. All right, so from this point on, we're just going to count 12 blocks up. And you can't vertical stack with um, cobble. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now this is the bottom of our y-axis. That's the top of our y-axis. It's... One, two, three, four, five, six blocks high. A little bit higher than I would like to have it, but like I said, we aren't, we're encompassing two veins here. Now this is where keeping track of your forward wall and how many blocks to your right and left your X and Y ax or your X axis was. So this is our forward wall. I just want to keep in mind that nine blocks this way was the end of our X axis and 11 blocks this way was the end of our y-axis. I'm, I'm sorry, the end of our other end of our x-axis. Our y-axis is right here where we're standing to up to that torch right there. So now the only thing left to do is figure out the z-axis and the way to do that is exactly how we did the x and y. Just keep digging. I like to step one block to the side here. Now just keep digging one direction until you don't get a hit anymore. And from that point on, from that point back inward, count 12 blocks. And that'll be your marking. And look what I got. Actually, look, it's right on top of me. Found some more tetrahedrite. But... And yeah, and you see I just started here. I just started on my z-axis. But I'm going to keep going, just for the purpose of demonstration. I'm going to keep going to show you how this works, and you'll be able to visualize it better if the ore is there and I leave it there. So it's going to be, since the tetrahedra is right here, it's going to be a couple blocks this way. At least 12 from this point. Okay, I'm pretty sure I found the end right here. Traces of tetrahedrite, everything this way was all lignite. So, from this block backwards, count 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Close that off because we don't need anything back there, it's all out of range. Now, I didn't get any hits of copper actually going this way, which is weird. But um, we obviously know that there's some more tetrahedra right here. Now we just do the same thing in this direction. Alright, so I broke open back into the original ravine. And here's my little staircase that I made to check on that olivine. Olivine, yes. The copper is this large sample right here. Uh, 
perfect. I got to get into that wall. I'm just going to fill this in. And if you notice all this uh, light colored cobblestone, I didn't place that. That is cave-ins that's been happening since I've been knocking this stone out. Um, cave-ins do happen. I noticed they're not that big of a deal when you're digging a 1x2. Oh, look at this. What's this? Some more tetrahedrite over here. But um, they do happen. They're happening a lot out here because this is a big open ravine. Now I have to go up one block. Oh, look what I look what I found. There it is right there. We found the copper. Hmm, I just found a second ravine in here. I'm not going to get all crazy exploring this. We got to get this copper. And again, just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to keep going. However, I'm not getting much hits anymore. Large sample of native copper, so... <sighs> we have a lot of copper in here. What I'm gonna do, since I tax this pick a lot, is I'm gonna start mining the ore. Yeah, only one block there. It seems to be more this way. But I'm going to mine out that tetrahedrite. Because um, this, this pick pretty much had it. This bismuthinite really doesn't have much durability. So we're going to mine out as much of this as we can and make more picks out of it. Alright, so I decided to dig out a little bit more in the direction of the copper and I got my six blocks of no hits. I'm I'm getting a hematite again. The last hit of copper was right here. So I'm just gonna count back twelve blocks. Isn't is there an Enderman in here? Oh. Where'd he go? The last thing I need is to, this thing taking me out. But um so let me get over to that side here. Twelve blocks this way. One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a twelfth block. Yeah, that's huge. Alright, so maybe trying to encompass two veins was a little bit too much. Because this is our Z access from this wall to that wall all the way down there and remember our x-axis was um, if that way was our forward wall we would still have to dig nine blocks that way eleven blocks that way and six blocks up so that's still a pretty big box but um, we did run into a lot of ore already I mean this is enough this is the the ore where you this is the the um underground ore it's not small nuggets so I'll get more out of this to make um more pickaxes and stuff with to come down here and find the rest of the stuff so mm. 
what I can do now is I can try and mine it out a little, just bust out this pick. Because there's not much left of it. And go back and smelt this stuff up and come back. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, I found some more copper. I'm still inside my coordinates here. I just dug out the nine blocks to my right, the eleven to my left, and I'm digging six up every five blocks. And I came across the copper right there. This pick just about had it. I don't even know how much of this I'll get out. It's probably going to break right about the next few blocks. Just get as much as copper as I can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I need you. But I can't have you right now. Okay, so this is our take. Got three stacks, well, three eight stacks of the tetrahedrite plus two. And two stacks, two eight stacks of the copper plus one. A couple of these uh, gems here, but they're worthless. Some like coal. And um, the pick broke, so we're going to have to stop there. That bismuthonite really doesn't last too long. Not as much as the zinc or the uh, tin. But we will come back. We know where it is. I mean, we, we have it zeroed down now. It's within these coordinates. And six up. So I'm going to head back to the hut. And we're going to figure out what to do next. Ooh. Are oh, you... This Enderman has been stalking me that whole time. Oh, this ain't good. I think he's trapped like that. He was just about to kill me. Ooh. I got an ender pearl too. I don't know if they're useful in this mod, but I got one. That guy was pissed off since I whacked him in the other uh the other ravine. And he's been lurking in the shadows this whole time, and he finally got me when I just jumped up on this ledge. But we got him. Oh, just made it home, and there's a creeper. I'm going to detonate him in the water. I don't even have any weapons on me right now. Oh, where did that axe come from? <laughs> that was weird. Alright. Zombie. Not even bothering. No, no. Here we go. Alright, we made it. Oh, now they're gonna knock on the door. Oh, give me a break. He's breaking it. Well, let's do this. Oh, he stopped. Let me make another pickaxe. This one's about to die out. I'm gonna go out there. And do a little TCB. Take care of business. Come on. Both of you. Both of you. You want to knock on my door, do you? Huh? You wanted me, you got me. Let's go. Oh. That's the end of that. All right. Where was I? Oh. Alright, we're here out here groaning. Come to my door. She wants trouble. Alright. 
Well, basically, um, nothing left to do now but just cook these up and see what we get out of them. And I am going to need clay. I guess I'll go to sleep then because I don't feel like going out there right now and running into trouble. Just find a clay deposit. Yeah, that really big one was down this way. All right, back into place. And um, I was thinking on the way over here. So instead of just cooking this stuff up right now, making another pickaxe and heading back into the mine I want to do something a little different since we have a lot of metal now and we know where to get a lot more I think it's time to pick a spot for our permanent residence and build a little bit something a little bit better than this um, little carved out dirt pile here I think it's time we upgrade to a nice little cabin or something so what I'm going to do is drop my resources for one because I don't want to take a chance of losing them. I'm going to have to build a chest. Most stuff we could carry on us. This isn't important. Okay. So what I'm going to do is head in that direction towards spawn. I want to look at the mountains where we spawn next to. I remember them being really cool, so let me take a trip back this way. <laughs> 